Uh, good day, YouTube. Uh, good to see everybody this morning. Uh, it is a beautiful Jan uh, December morning. Excuse me, right? getting a little ahead of myself. A couple of days after Christmas here. Finally able out to work. It's been pretty cold as it has been most of the country. Been cold here in the south as well. So I'm finally out here working. Got a little fencing project going on. Finally working on this fencing project on the old corral out here. Moved the donkey out here and maybe put some goats out in this area. Got some things to work on. Want to show off this little homemade fence stretcher on a roller here. Um, students made this. I had a student made this a couple of years ago and uh, made a little receiver hitch type deal. You slide into a receiver hitch and you see I got it on the old 130 here. Uh, it's working pretty good. It's the first time I've used it. Uh, actually, it was built a couple of years ago. Yeah, sitting a little crooked, but hey, it's working because um, it's fence, stretching this fence out and uh, doing what it's supposed to do. I actually put a hole, second hole, and it only had that front hole here um, to start off with. And when I got it home, I'd already built this receiver hitch for the uh, 130 here. And so I uh, took him. Made me another hole marked spot. Made me another hole there. Like I said, it's sitting crooked. Need some brace type things on it. But it's working for right now. No 130 is running good. Um, so string it out. And then I got these bolts on it right here all the way down. This catching the fence and tightening the fence up. And it's, it's working really good. So. Um, this morning. I don't know how much video I'm gonna take. I may just take some little shots here and there showing what I'm what I've got done, but I gotta take this old gate down right here. I'm gonna take it down and put a regular gate up. But gonna be a nice little area. Come out here yesterday and got the fence started and uh, tightened up this old electric wire that's on here, tightened it up a little bit. It was down in a few places, so got it tightened up, so uh, it's gonna be a nice little area for the donkey. Got a nice little cover spot. He's got a nice area now, but this will be a little bit nicer area for him. So, but, so we're working on today. We'll keep on working on here. Well, we got the first leg done. It's just around this, so that's a that's a good portion done. There, it really didn't take that long, but ended up having an issue. Had to switch out. Good thing about making this trailer hitch compatible, I had to uh, end up putting it on my side by side here. Um, I ended up bending my hitch on the 130. Uh, it's my fault, I had the wrong kind of pin in it and it turned. Plus, there's a little bit too much leeway with the, the tongue of the uh, fence stretcher thing there being a little too long. So. And anyway, I switched it out. We're gonna work on this next section here. So uh, hopefully I'll get this section done. I got somebody coming to get hay here shortly. So uh, hopefully get this done maybe before that customer comes. So. Yeah, a little update, it's been a couple of hours. I got this section here done. I got the far end section done. And then I got this section done to right here, this point right here. Uh, lacking, I don't know. Gosh, I don't know how many, 50 feet maybe. But I'm gonna put, I got a little gate I'm gonna put in there. Do some work on it, I got it uh, over there. Took it off old pig pen. Uh, and I ran out of fencing actually. So uh, I'm gonna have to go back in between each of these runs here, these longer runs, I'm gonna have to go back in and put in a uh, regular fence post, but I'll get that. Ain't no big deal. Go back and do that, but I got all the fence stretched, so, which is good. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. I got all that fence. Like I said, I just had to buy me a 100 foot or so roll. Uh, like I said, I got a that fence post right there. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go beside it. <clears throat> it and put my little gate in uh, there so I'll have that little stretch of fence right there and a little stretch of fence there to to put in fence, put fence up on it so otherwise I'm fixing to work on taking this old 
wood gate down. I'll take it down, put my new uh, gate hangers up, put this, this gate up here, and then I'm gonna work on getting that other uh, little gate in, get a post up and get that gate up. So, been working on it. Uh, that was my biggest goal was getting this fence. Uh, the fencing done so i've got that done so when you got all the posts already in it's it's pretty easy so uh, like i said i just had to come back with some it's good pretty tight i just had to come back with some in these longer runs come back in with some t-post and and uh, put some t-post up uh, so that won't be a hard task just pop them in put some time up pretty done it's done right there so here anyway, we're gonna work on these gates well, I got this gate hung here. I got it put up. Got the old one taken off. I'll move it when I get the kids steer in here. I got to dump a couple of water tanks and move a water tank. So I do have that gate hung up. Like I said, I got these three rounds of fences done. And then I've got the little gate up. I still got to cut the electric wire for it. But I do have this one hung up so it's good to go so i uh, just gotta change out the wire run this little bit of stretch of wire here and a little bit of stretch of wire there the fencing aspect of it's done the rest of it's just uh, a little bit of cleanup stuff gotta get some old hay bale string up gotta move a few limbs gotta dump that old white tub down there it's full of water gotta dump it but like i said put a few t-posts up in some places and this area will be done, so. Anyway, it's used to, still got the old Calca head gate and all in there. So, anyway, project's moving along. Not too bad for uh, about a half a day's work. I reckon I ain't start till almost lunchtime, so. All right, it's another day back out here working on the Wiley's new fence there actually got the gate here. I put it in the other day, but I had some wire still in the way of it. I got it cut free and got a new piece of fence that I had bought. I only bought about a 50 foot roll. It's different than the other fence, but uh, this is about all track supply has. It's just actually halfway decent price, and I didn't want to ride an hour to agri supply so no big deal but anyway i got that piece there done put a board up top and i'll try right here in this area to do something with the board that i put and make a some kind of square bell hay feeding uh type thing i'm gonna come up with something that i can feed square bales of hay out of and that way i can just put it over the top put a little cover on it um, and go from there with, with some kind of feeding type deal for for him and his hay so anyway i got that section done like i said i got the rest of that gate and got that little section of fence there done as well had an old hay bale out here got it dispersed and, and moved out there's a bunch of old hay twine and stuff we got it out of the ground there around in there with the forks on the skid steer and got that taken care of had a that old white tank that had a whole bunch of water in it got it picked up dumped out and got the water out of it had that old wash tub in here as well i got it out i'm not going to use it for water uh, thing you just get too much water in there and then you have to dump it and you know i might i don't know i'd have to clean it up it might be something that i end up doing for water for him but again i hadn't made my mind up on that one so but i picked it up with the forks and just Laid it on the outside, like I said, I got rid of that big old tub that was was there. So, and then I got the old piece of gate that was here. Got it up, had the way. So, got this project a little bit further along. So, like I said, the only thing that I got left at this point is going to be some kind of hay thing, and I'll uh, when I get that done, I'll come back and show you that. So. Another update on the new donkey pasture. My fence unroller stretcher thing here actually worked out. It worked out pretty good. 
Uh, I've got it back here at, at work because I've got to make some changes to it. Uh, like I said, it did pretty good. It did the intended task uh, that I wanted it to do, but um, it did fail towards the end. Uh, as you've seen, I did have the mishap with the tractor. Uh, I've got that hitch uh, pretty long here, and that actually worked out pretty good because I needed to use the front hole for when I put it in the my side by side, but then I made the second hole here it worked out well for using with my tractor with the 140. So um, that actually works out pretty good having it because you've got two different ways and you're able to, to manipulate it between vehicles that you may be using uh, to, to pull the wire or whatever. So you can use whatever you want to use. But uh, my biggest issue and what I'm gonna have to go to the drawing board on is with my um, placement of my bolts. I remember if I had a bolt in here, bolt here, here, bolt here, bolt here, and one here. So that's what six, yeah, six spots for bolts, and those bolts will be what would catch the fence. And was I had to catch the fence, and then I could drive forward and pull the fence from there so i'm gonna have to work on this because it did bend some of the bolts and it eventually wore the the threads off of the bolts or inside the nut all i've got is a nut welded inside of here we drill a hole and then put a nut and welded the nut inside of these uh and so i'm gonna have to go back and, and sort of maybe rethink it uh maybe put me a piece of metal that goes all the way through uh, or something of that nature. I don't know. And I was thinking about anyway, maybe doing something on this side anyway, that way you could do the wire on either side that you wanted to. So I do got to do some rethinking on that. It did work well. Uh, like I said, being able to have, I don't have the bar in the middle here, um, but having that bar and being able to put the fence on it, pull the fence out, you ain't got to walk the fence, being able to do that and wires upright like it needs to be. I've seen people that are take put a pole through the fence wire or do chains or whatever and use a front end loader and you back it up and you wire and then you got to stand the wire up with this way at least the wire is already standing. So, you know, I tried to base it off of some that I've seen that some stores may sell. And so, uh, like I said, it worked good up till about the end and I was down to, I think this middle one here was about the only one that never did strip out. So, <coughs> But it worked well, I uh, did what I wanted to. I'm just gonna have to go back and, and rethink what I wanna use in here to catch the, that I can put in here to catch the wire and then whenever I get ready to pull forward to stretch the wire out to hold that in place and something that won't bend or um, the threads won't strip out or whatever. So, uh, and I ended up making a little fence stretcher for that little last run of fence uh, uh, that I had to do uh, on the pasture so but anyway like i said it worked good just gonna have to do a little bit of uh rethinking on it and come up with a different plan when i do that i'll make sure a video on that all right it's a, another day out here in the donkey's new pen working i finally got his feeding area Finished up, got a metal roof on it. Uh, it's a hard to tell, but got a little hay feeder here. A little V style, slide the hay down in it. Got him a little bowl there, bucket, whatever you want to call it for his regular feed. When we give him regular feed or apples or treats or whatever. So got a nice top on it, actually extended the top out to where it would cover his little feed bowl there if it was raining put feed in it or whatever so we can get a whole bunch of water in it so it took me a few days to knock this little project out um put a little bit of an angle on it so the water would run off um also put a handle this actually lifts up i put this on hinges that way you uh open this roof hatch up and slide the hay down inside of the little thing here so he can eat his hay. So I got this to where it'll, we'll 
lift up and off. So uh, works good where you can slide the, the hay down in this hay feeder thing there. So uh, we can reach over the fence and put feed in his bucket here. And I'll end up putting his water bucket right here beside it. So, uh, but anyway, this pretty much is gonna wrap this project up. The only thing I still got left to do is, of course, put his, uh, come in here in between these different runs and put a, a uh, T-post, uh, but that's no big deal. It won't take much to do that. And I'm probably gonna do that after I move him because I wanna pull the, the T-post out of his, he just reused the T-post from his pen that he's in now. Uh, and put that in here, the, the fence and wire and everything stable enough as it is to, he ain't gonna get out or bust out through it. So I don't have to worry about that. But anyway, got this, got this project finished up. It's taking me a good bit of time. This video, um, actually started, this series started in December and now we're at what, January, today's January the 11th. So it's taking me some time. Um, I think I started this, the fencing process, what, I think a day or two after Christmas, I believe. So, and I've been working on it, this project here and there, um, you know, since then, uh, some afternoons after I come home from work, I'd come out here and work till dark, just working on the fencing, putting little gates up and a big gate, working on this hay feeder and all that stuff cut a few other little scrub trees down and got that big uh water tub out of here and that type of thing so just getting it mess getting it all cleaned up and, and everything taken care of so it's taking a little bit of time so like i said this should wrap it up on this thing again just to put those t-posts in these longer run of sections of, of fence there and like i said i can do that once I get him moved uh, and put in because all I gotta do is reach in and do the, knock the T-post in and tie the, to the fence up to the T-post and it's good to go. So nothing, not a whole lot to that. So I uh, hope everybody's enjoyed this project and the video. Um, I think our uh, donkey's gonna enjoy his new area that we got for him here. So. Uh, it won't be long, and I'm going to start a second project out here, which is going to be fixing up right there at the barn. I'm going to fix up that little front section right in there. I'm going to fix that up, hopefully put some pigs in it. So i got some hog panels I'm going to put around that, that uh, area. And i got this end section of the barn. I'm gonna, um, that's where I used to keep square bales of hay. I'm going to... Uh, I don't have any hay in, maybe old hay that I got in there, but I'm gonna get a couple pallets that I got in there out and fence that area in. Be a nice little area for some pigs, I think. So I'm gonna fix that up, maybe get a couple pigs, start raising some pigs. So. But anyway, again, I hope everybody's enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, comment. Please give me a thumbs up. Um, hope everybody's doing well. Hope the new year's going well for everybody at this point. And uh, again, thanks for watching. God bless each and every one of you, and we'll see you in the next one.